Hello, I'm Di Kerrigan with Listen, Learn, Act. And I wanted to let you know about an upcoming community conversation we'll be having on May 30th with Phil Lloyd Seidel. And Phil joins me today to talk a little bit about our conversation that we're going to um, that we're going to have. Phil, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Di. Um, let's just jump right in. Uh, you recently went on a trip uh, to Palestine and Israel. Um, and can you tell me a little bit about what prompted that trip, how it became organized, and then secondly, what led you to join the group? Sure. Uh, we we were part of a 35-member delegation that was organized loosely by what's called the Israel-Palestine Network of the Presbyterian Church. It was an ecumenical group. Uh, what led us, and we were invited to participate in that, uh, if we had not been invited, I would not have in my wildest expectations thought about doing this. Uh, but we've been following the events in Gaza in particular since uh, the beginning of October and we're horrified. And so this gave us an opportunity to, uh, in the title of our group was Witness to the Suffering. And in mm -hmm. fact, uh, that felt like uh, such a profound gift to us to be able to get out of our comfort zone and then go to uh, Israel, Palestine. Uh, it was an ecumenical delegation hosted by Sabil, which is an incredible Palestinian liberation theology center devoted to inclusivity and justice for all. Uh, so the trip was conceived of responding to a call from these Christian partners and the purpose was to express solidarity with all who are suffering in Palestine and Israel during this time of tremendous violence. Yeah, I followed you on Instagram while you were there and some of the video footage and uh, photographs that you posted were uh, chilling, um, gut-wrenching. Um, but yeah, so and it was it was for us uh, what we saw. We we went to the West Bank only. We could not get into Gaza, of course, but we went to Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Ramallah, and Nablus, all in the West Bank. Wow. So, um, how has it changed you since you come back? Um, well, it. It kind of, uh, one way of saying it would be rocked my world. Um, it reawakened me to the realities of systemic oppression in another place. Uh, we're familiar with it here in the United States. So there was an intersectionality that impacted me in a big way. But also I would say at a, at a deeper level of, um, I almost want to say faith, uh, in which we felt, and it was rekindled in me from experiences in South America and here in the United States decades ago, of the importance of standing with those who suffer uh, yes. and trying to understand the world through the eyes of people who suffer systemic and historic oppression. And that was very powerful for me. Yeah, I can, it's powerful for me to even hear you say it right now. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the evening um, together where we can have a, a greater discussion about it. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you'll uh, you'll bring to us that night? Yeah, along with a question you just asked, I would like to share a little bit about my own kind of personal inner explosion that occurred, uh, but also... Uh, not to avoid some of the facts and experiences that we did have. So, for example, it's important to look at some of the history of Palestine and Israel and the West Bank in particular. Uh, we heard of a phrase which is uh, which we've used ever since. It's called beautiful resistance. It was coined by a Palestinian director of a cultural arts center 
whom we met in Bethlehem in a refugee camp. Beautiful resistance. How do we stand nonviolently but courageously and clearly against the forces which would, uh, well, destroy us? Yeah. Um, so those are two main things that I would like to share as well as some of what we learned from the various church leaders, Muslim leaders. Uh, we met with an Israeli uh, group. Uh, we met with the U.S. Embassy and UNRWA, the uh, relief arm of the UN in that region. So we met with a broad spectrum of people and I'll try to do my best to share what we saw and heard. Well, I am really, really looking forward to it. Again, it's on May 30th at the Earth and Spirit Center it starts at 6.30, and we hope you'll join us. Phil, thank you so much, and I'm really excited about this. Thanks, Di, and I'm very excited about it. I appreciate your work very much. Thank you.